I am. Welcome to our 10 subscriber special where it's time to open a new series called <sighs> FNAF fan, fan Game Review. I know someone already did this. I don't know their name. But I wanted to. Uh, my account is not going to go into much. I should wait until the game. Bye. For a second. Base reveal. I'm a camera reveal. And base reveal. This is the game. I have beat it. And this is not a video. See? Yes. Anyway, my thoughts on the game, it was an actually really fun roller coaster. You got Wario. See, here's the guys. It's all. I think most of them had good, really good designs. Most of them, because Peach is not turning up in the game. And the first one, first return to the factory list. I. I actually lost right when she appeared, and also I don't know why they even put her in the next game. Minus from, you know, the last game. They didn't put her in. Next you have Warrior Man. Deadly, Deadly, Sad. D. Curry. Don't get calm. D. Curry. Mm. These massive brutes are in the game. It's pretty regular. It's a good one. Anyway, my thoughts on the game are, well, here's the kind of lore of the game. You go house to house, trying to find, trying to, so after, I think, being deceived, I was not really paying that much attention to the story. You have to stay in a house with your night guard, unless we'll talk to you over the thing, and the fourth night gets sabotaged. Spoilers for the game, I should have said. I got the bad ending so far. I don't know why not show these. I also planning to do a video on these. I played this one, great. Played this one, not much actually. Not played much, but this is by Jeb Oreo. It's made Return to the Factory, Return to Find the Yoshi's, and yeah, all those games and Big Sam. Anyway. So basically, yeah, you go to the place, no, place, whatever, you go to Mickey Roy's house, this is the demon house, ooh, spooky, it's gonna change Erica, you go to Mickey Roy's house, and these animatronics, well, these ghosts, the, particularly these ones, will come out and try to kill you. First night, the entrance is really easy, if... Oh, sorry. Okay, <sighs> we're back. Here are all the room selections, but I'll talk to, talk to them. Anyway, you get to see this house here. You have to survive only five nights. And then you get escape. There's actually, actually missing one level here, but let's just go over it level by level. Some of them I actually don't really know what to do, so yeah. The entrance, if Wario appears, you just look at the right. If Wario, you just can't keep up the camera for a tiny bit. This one's not that bad at all. It's really easy, actually. But I got stuck on it the first time. Kitchen or Luigi or Waluigi Pier just touch a stove. Here's just some tips on the game. Also, was not that bad. I think if Wario appears in the mirror, turn on the cold water, and if in the window, hot water. Just the way I did second did in my original one. I do not regret it. It had some really fun and easy nights. Parlor don't fully know what to do. Being honest. Same with bedroom, <laughs> and same with study. Dining room was the one I did. Dining room was really easy, actually. If Wally -E appeared, you had in that closet. And if Wario appeared, you just Don't exactly know what to do. Don't exactly know what to do. Know what to do. Basically, if Waluigi appears, flick up and put, press the no Waluigi or Mario appears, flick up that camera, press the noise button. The noise button will scare away those boys, but then you have to find the button or else Yoshi will wake up in your room. That's probably one of the smartest things. Like, I actually like that. The game room was a really fun. The game room was probably one of the funnest nights so far. Um, these two nights suck. I know what you're supposed to do. Actually, you don't really know for this one, but there's nothing interesting about them. Basically, you have to use pool balls to keep your things away. It's just fun. Out. 
Probably my favorite night in this game. Anyway, back to extras. I'd love to show you guys gameplay or jump scares. Um, either one. I like the game. It was a really good game. Really solid. I, I like how it took inspiration from Five Nights at Wario's. Wrong one. Five Nights at Wario's 3. Was, in my opinion, is the best game part in the entire franchise. I haven't played every single one. I played this one, this one, or this one. I played basically all of them. I played this one a tiny bit. But I couldn't find out how to, you know, win. I recommend... This one was really good, though. I like the idea that this game is fully fucking ripped. I need to find one more piece of the music box to get the good ending. The bad ending is really simple. They are sent to a new world where all, stuff, where all the bad stuff happens. Bad boys. And also here's how to ex edit textures. Bam. Bam. Okay. Yeah. Either here's a room map, actually. For some reason, these two... Wait, if you're at the entrance, couldn't you just walk out? That's kind of a weird plot hole. Anyway, here's the room map, and here's all the level ideas. They're all really creative in their own rights, except a couple. You two. I still don't understand Parlor, but I'm not going to call that one bad. I just don't understand what to do. Study. You're bad. You're bad. I don't like your gimmick. But all the other ones I like. And also, can I say something weird? In Parlor, there's no DK. But if you go to Kitchen, you get smoke. You inhale too much smoke, but then you go to here. This is where DK is, but this one does not have DK. They should have somehow put DK in this one. Hey, but that is not the point. This game was good. Really nice. Really fun. Again, kind of took everything from Friday Night at Oreos. But, uh, I feel like it would have been better. What I would improve is by far putting Peach in the game. Putting Toad in Bowser in the game. I know it's a weird one, but, like, not... <sighs> putting some other knights... And can I also say the final night of the game is probably my favorite. Even though it's probably one of the easiest nights because of the final night, the fifth night. Basically, you go to a place that no one else knows where you are. So you have to discover your rules for yourself. It's really cool. And you also go insane in there. Leaving all this really weird shit to happen. It's, it's, it's amazing. I don't know what to say. That's it. I'm going to say goodbye. Wow, that was really bad. Um, I'm going to... I'm finding when I could be every night to make a tier list of me uh, ranking nights. Bye.